Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, I'll be going through the process of creating a stereo down mix in Pro Tools. Here, I've got a simple post-production session, and if we take a look at the right-hand side of the mixer, I have my dialogue, Atmos, sound effects, and music, all routed through 5.1 aux tracks. For simplicity in this example, I've then routed all of these to a 5.1 auxiliary track labeled Submaster, which you can see here. This Submaster track is routed to the main output, which in my case is called 5.1 Out, and I have a master fader which is associated with this output. From the Submaster track, I've created a send, which is of course a 5.1 send, and it's going to yet another aux, which is called Down Mix. Now currently, this appears to be a stereo auxiliary track, and that's because I've already added the Avid Down Mixer plugin, but let me just remove some plugins from this, including the Down Mixer. And you can see it starts life as a 5.1 aux track. Now in order to actually do the down mix, we need to go to the inserts and add a down mixer plugin. For this example, I'll stick with the basic Avid down mixer plugin, but there are some excellent third party plugins which allow for much more advanced down mixing features. In this plugin, we have faders which represent each of the channels. This is a 5.1 mix, so we have left, center, right, left surround, right surround, and the low frequency effects or LFE channel. Now I can adjust the levels of these, however it's probably easier just to go and recall a preset. So I'll go into the presets menu and you can see we have one called 5.1 to stereo with LFE muted. Recalling this sets the plugin as you can see here. The center channel is set to minus 3 dB. This ties in with what we call stereo pan depth or pan law. So the center channel, which was previously a single speaker, now that it's going to be played back through two speakers, left and right stereo, we do need to drop it by 3 dB in order to maintain the original perceived balance. The left and right surrounds, by default with this particular preset, will be dropped by 6 dB. This is actually a sensible level for these channels. When blended into stereo, it may be that you had a lot of stuff in the surrounds, and if you have it much higher than this, it could easily swamp the content when heard in a stereo down mix. However, I would recommend taking a listen to it and adjusting it accordingly. You may want to increase it slightly, but I'd say be cautious and just ensure that the dialogue clarity is maintained. Now the LFE channel is muted. There's just no space in a stereo mix for that additional low frequency content. It will just muddy the mix and use up headroom unnecessarily, so keep it muted. Before actually bouncing the mix, you will definitely want to keep an eye on the overall levels. Conveniently, there's a master fader here so you can bring it down. You could increase it, but you're more likely to want to bring it down. So I would actually suggest on this AUX track, Following the down mixer plugin, add your preferred metering plugin, check the levels, and adjust the level of the down mixer to hit the target level for your particular project. Once you have everything in place, you've set the down mixer, you're happy with the overall level of the stereo down mix, and of course, the main 5.1 mix. You can see I've got the metering on there as well. Now we can actually bounce the mix. So I'm just going to make a selection that encompasses the entire timeline, and then do File, Bounce Mix, or you can do Option Command B. And in this window, more often than not, the file type is going to be WAV, but importantly, under the mix source here, we can bounce more than one thing at a time. So here I'm going to bounce the main 5.1 output, but also the secondary stereo output. Now if that wasn't there, I could just click plus here, go to here, choose the output bus that I'm using for this, which is stereo out. And in this particular example, I'm going to choose interleaved under file format. With that, delivery format becomes available. We have two options. We can either do file per mix source or single file. Of these two, single file would be less commonly used. That would create a single interleaved WAV file, which contains all of the channels from both your 5.1 mix and the stereo down mix, effectively making it an eight channel WAV file. On a couple of occasions, I have actually been asked to provide that, but most of the time it's going to be file per mix source. This means that you'll end up with two interleaved files, a 5.1, and a stereo. Now of course we just need to choose where this ends up so I'm just going to go with the bounce files folder and bounce this offline. This will take quite a while so let's skip ahead to where the bounce has finished. Okay the mix is done and if I go into the bounced files folder for the session you can see I have the main 5.1 mix and the stereo down mix both as separate files. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.